What's happening, y'all? It's your boy LB, man. Haven't been doing videos in a couple days and shit, but I'm back to it. And I'm gonna start doing that, uh, the report shit too at halftime. So I like that, man. I like that. Like I say, man, give me something else to talk about besides basketball. I will talk about anything you guys think of. If I agree to it, then I will make a video and talk about it, get my opinion on it, and stuff like that. So if you may, for y'all who's subscribing to me, who watch my videos, if you find something that you want me to talk about, go ahead, leave it in the comment box. I, I read it. If I pick up on it, I like it, then I'll do it, a video on it. But this video is the Pistons versus the San Antonio Spurs. They play at 8, 8 o'clock today. Hopefully you guys watch it because I know I'm going to be watching it. I've kind of been missing basketball lately, especially for my team Pistons. Even though I was watching basketball yesterday, that uh, Warriors game, it was a good game. But, uh, yeah, keys for us to win this game, man. Reggie Jackson got to come play big, man. Tony Parker torched us last time. I think he had like 32 points. Red Jackson had to have 32 points in this game. Because I don't think Patty Mills or no Tony Parker can guard Reggie Jackson. I just don't see it. If he come, and he if he come out the gate looking mad and, and, and ready to go and going straight downhill, then I got a good chance. I got a good feeling that we'll win this game. But if he come and get to turn the ball over, holding the ball, we ain't getting no ball movement. Everybody standing around, sluggish. LaMarcus Aldridge taking it to whoever, guarding him and all this bullshit. Then we're going to lose the game. But if we come out, lay, the, lay that foundation down like we've been doing for this this for this for winning streak that we've been on, then we probably will win this game. You know what I'm saying? Um, I don't know how our bench is going to play. You know what I'm saying? Because... If the Spurs is going to win the game, it's going to be because of either Kawhi Leonard or LaMarcus Aldridge or the Spurs bench, man. Because the Spurs bench produce and they produce at a high rate. And they play together and they play uh just as good as the first unit. So we got our hands full and we still trying to incorporate these guys that really ain't used to playing with each other on our bench. Even though they've been playing good as of late. Um, So... Reggie Jackson have to come play. KCP going to have to come score. We're going to have to have a whole team effort to beat this team, man. Because, you know, we make mistakes, man. They do damage off of people's mistakes. So, we're going to have to limit the mistakes, man, and play as a team, play together, talk amongst each other, man, and continue to move the ball, man, continue to try to get easy scores. It's not going to be easy. But, hey, I think we could do it. We beat them before, a few times at home before. So, I'm confident, even though and no team have beat them at home yet, and they might be a little sluggish. They might be thinking about the Warriors because they play the Warriors tomorrow and shit. So, we come out, jump on this team, man. Don't look back. Then we got a chance. To, when I'm saying the Pistons winning this game, I'm not picking the Spurs. I can't stand the Spurs. The two teams I hate in the uh, NBA is the Cavs and the Spurs. Mainly the Spurs. Man, the reason I hate the Spurs is because they beat us in 2005 and cost us a back -back, the back-to-back -to -back championship game and shit. Championship. Ginobili was going crazy in that motherfucking game. I was watching that shit as a youngie, but uh, fuck the Spurs. But I got the Pistons winning this 115 to uh, 103. I say we win this. Uh, you guys, like I say, man, if you want me to talk about anything else, man, leave it in the comment box. Um, I'm gonna do a uh, preview for Lions fans. Not a preview, but I'm gonna give a little. I'm gonna give a little analysis of what I'm thinking. That who do I think the Lions should go out there in free agency and draft and all that shit. So. Y'all be expecting that. Like I said, I got the Pistons winning this game. Y'all leave a comment. Um, let me know what y'all think. And um, thanks for fucking with me, like I say, man. And that's about it for this video. Go Pistons. They play at 8 o'clock tonight, man. So y'all be tuning in. Leaving comments on my Instagram, Twitter. Why the game going on? I will be responding. Or you can re um, respond on my video. I'll be It pop up at the top of my phone and shit. So I see everything if you guys just comment and shit. So. Yeah, let's get this going. Whew, we got a we got a hard road. Uh, was well, I think if we do lose this game, man, I do feel like we can beat the Knicks, the the uh Portland Trailblazers, and the Dallas Mavericks. I mean, the Portland Trailblazers, them motherfuckers is spicy right now. But I think we can hold them down again, like we did in the last game we played them. But we'll see. Only God knows is what what's going to happen, and only time will tell. So hopefully the Pistons. I think we're number eight right now. We gotta keep winning, man. We gotta keep winning. Because even though the uh, Bulls losing, the Wizards is on our ass and shit. And they got, like, one of the easiest schedules left. I looked at their schedule. They got an easy-ass schedule. So, they can win. Like, they can go on the 10-game winning streak and be number four. You know what I'm saying? So, we got to keep winning. And that's that, man. Peace. I'm gone.